Okay, to learn how to find the UTM coordinates of a known point on the map, you have to have a UTM tool reader, and you also have to draw in your UTM lines on the map if they're not already drawn in. So I drew mine in in green, which makes it a little bit hard to see. I wouldn't recommend green. But anyway, I find the square that, surround, that surrounds my point of interest. In this case, it's right here. And I put my tool reader on the edge of that, um, box right here to the left because you're going to read your UTM um, coordinates from left to right a little bit different but really once you get the hang of this it's a little bit easier than your latitude and longitude tool so first of all I have to figure out which line this is and what that number is so I'm going to follow this line all the way down and see that it is four let me bring my paper over here it is four, eight, three, and then I have three placeholders right there. And I know that because if I keep looking this way on the um, map, I see my three placeholders right there. Okay, and then I need to figure out which um, Y axis number I'm at. And so if I followed my line all the way over to here, I'm at four, four, eight, seven. So let's get right here, and we go four, four, eight, seven, and again, three placeholders, which I know by looking down at the corner of my map and finding my placeholders right here. Okay, so coming back over to Horsetooth Mountain, I take my tool, I line it up vertically on my UTM line and horizontally on my UTM line, and then I slide it to the right until the Horsetooth Peak is in my slot just like that and then I just need to read what numbers cross um, this line so if I look over here I have one two three and I'm not quite to four so I'm gonna put like three so I put three here I'm gonna put um, about I don't know eight and then zero and this last line you really cannot see um, that clearly on the um, tool. So it's generally going to be a zero or maybe a 0.5 if you feel like it fell in between like a seven and a, or an eight and a nine. Okay. Now I do the same thing looking up. I come up here and I find my peak and I see that it's at four, about four, four right in here. So I fill in those numbers here, four, four, zero. And this is my northing number, and this right here was my easting number, um, which would read like this. And so our coordinates here are 483380 and 448740. Um, so keep in mind, too, that you're reading X and Y. So this is my X coordinate, this is my Y coordinate. And that's why this is my easting and this is my northing going up and down on the grid.